Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel where we talk all things true crime. If you're new here and you appreciate today's case coverage, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. It's free to do and it really helps my channel grow. Today I want to give a short update on the Abigail Williams and Liberty German case, also known as the Delphi murders. Before we get into that, I do want to say this is my third time recording this video. I wanted to put pictures into the video every time I went to put the picture in. It decided to take my voice out. So it's going to just be me on the screen today. So sorry, guys. No pictures for this one. Just me and my pretty skirt, you know, in California. But there is a lot of um, there's not a lot of information on this case because the documents have been sealed. But I wanted to give you guys a summary in case you guys haven't heard of this case. So 13 year old Abby and 14 year old Libby were found Valentine's Day 2017 in a wooded area about a half a mile from Monon High Bridge. The two girls went there that day to take pictures and just hang out. While on the bridge, Libby was able to take a 43 second video of a man that was following them. They released a photo and a three second clip of the man saying, down the hill. After five years, we have seen two sketches. The police have had thousands of tips and finally they arrested Richard Allen, age 50. He was hiding in plain sight. He was a resident of Delphi. He was married. He had children. He worked at the local CVS pharmacy, first in photography where he developed pictures of Abby and Libby, and then over to the pharmacy where he filled prescriptions for residents of Delphi. I made a video the other day about how he wrote a letter to the court, throwing himself at the mercy of the court. He wanted a lawyer and talked about how his wife had to quit her job, how she had to quit her job and leave their home. If you want to watch that, it is on my page to watch. Um, we haven't heard anything back after that, but I am sure he has been seen by a public defender by now. Carroll County Judge Benjamin Diener, who sealed the records, recused himself, stating that he and his employees felt that they were in danger and just could not handle the attention and stress from the public. Someone released YouTube photos and videos of his family. So, I mean, I would be a little worried too. So now Judge Francis Gall of Allen County is to come and preside. Bail was set at 20 million. That information got leaked. It was supposed to be sealed as far as I know. So for the two charges he was um, charged with, 20 million, bail was set. They haven't released what connected Richard Allen to the girls. There will be a hearing later this month to discuss what they can and cannot release to the public. Before D Judge Diener recused himself, he took Richard Allen and put him into a state prison for his own safety, and he is now in protective custody. The sheriff asked the judge to move him. So there must have been a threat or attack of some sort on him. I am sure the other inmates don't appreciate somebody that does these things to children. A lot of these men live by a certain code where you don't mess with women or children. I think it's a good idea that the judge recused himself early in the case and didn't try to take on anything he couldn't handle. He said it himself. He has a bailiff himself and a court reporter. So I could see how that could be overwhelming with the press trying to get info, social media putting out false info, and just the amount of pressure a case this big would have on somebody. So what do you guys think of this stuff that's kind of coming out with them putting him into protective custody? Do you think that he deserves that or not? I personally, I'm glad that he's in protective custody because I want to see him in court. I hope actually he just pleads guilty to this. And doesn't put her family, their families, I'm sorry, through any more turmoil, trauma, tragedy, heartbreak, loss. No more, hopefully. Hopefully he can say he's guilty, be a man, take up for take accountability, don't be a coward. I mean, her family's been going through this for too long and he's been, what, out there living his life? Sitting by her pictures, by his sketches, I mean. At the bar, there's a lot of things I want to say right now, but I'm not going to say them because I don't want to be cussing right now. But you, that's how I feel about them. So you guys know how I feel. I would like to know how you feel in the comments below. If you did appreciate today's case coverage, please subscribe to the channel. You know, it really helps your girl out. Like the video and just leave me a little comment below, even if it's a little like cute emoji, you know, makes my day. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.